got a little bit of work to do with these decoys. The guys are coming in uh, starting about 1, 1, 2, and 3 o'clock. They'll uh, scatter in. We still don't know much about our wounded guy. He's supposed to be here on Friday to hunt Saturday, but a lot of work has gone into this. Now what we're doing now is the final preps. What the geese are doing is they're going all in this impoundment. They actually roost in here at night. Uh, but in the morning, whatever is left, maybe 50 birds are sleeping in here at night. Those birds are up and moving and other ones are just piling in here until there's a few hundred geese out in those fields. So I'm trying to duplicate what it looks like in the morning with them. So we're going to have a, a bunch of duck decoys out. These are some uh, brand new realistic looking duck decoys that we got. We're going with these floater decoys. There's a lot of geese that are floating in the water right here. The others are walking across this grass across the driveway and going into that Japanese millet field over there. But these are called flocked head decoys. And this is almost a velvet that is sprayed on these things. Every year they use a pressure washer and get this off and they reflock the heads. It's something about the difference between a plastic head that is not flocked versus this velvet style of head. And they're much, much more realistic uh, to the birds. So these decoys are going. They have their purpose, but we're not going to need them here. We're going with about the 20 flock head decoys. Uh, we've got some other motion style decoys that are going in. We've got some silhouette decoys going in and more duck decoys. And we're going to simulate this field uh, to the tune of about 50, uh, maybe 70 decoys total are going in. Second best goose hunter on the eastern shore. That's the first. That's the first. That's right. That's right. <laughs> this is Dennis Capo. He's done a lot of work here, and we're going to be hunting his mud puddle tomorrow. Yep. Puddled up. That's what we. I devised that shit, and he executed it. Yeah, it came out good. And every goose in Dorchester County is in that all night, and until you run them out during the daytime. That's awesome. So I got these other three guys. They're not that. It's you and me. We got to get these decoys spread tomorrow, or we're gonna okay. be in a lot of trouble. So, you got uh, it. if you want to drop your bags and guns and shit like that, I'm gonna take you out here and show you what I'm thinking. Okay. Because at, uh, your boss, at six o'clock in the morning, <laughs> with the boozing that's gonna go on here tonight, I'm not expecting. That's how I'm never disappointed. I don't expect much out of anybody, and I certainly know I'm not gonna get much out of you. Nope, nothing. But I'm gonna get more out of you than I am out of those other celebrities. Most likely.
Well, can you guys see that? Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Maureen. I love it. The good news is uh, there is a fucking lot of geese. There's a lot of geese. They're all out in this river. Nobody around here has them. Everybody's scratching their head, but they're here. A few hundred of them are going to be in here in the morning. Oh, you know, shit changes. But what's going to be the problem is we got Friday and Saturday to hunt. And <coughs> Isaac is coming in. I'm not forsaking you guys for it. We're going for where the birds are. We're going to get it done here tomorrow. And we'll deal with Saturday, which is calling for rain. What I don't want to do is have to shoot this thing twice, but I might have to. I did it for the Grand National, but we were really, uh, we did really good both days because we were conservative with the shooting. So what's going to happen tomorrow? Uh, I think you guys need to get up at 5. I'm going to be up at 5. I get coffeeed up, but I'll be down there at 6 o'clock to be ready because I'm going to start that machine down there, pull it up, me and Capo, you guys just already are going to have your guns together and everything else, and we are just going to put out decoys kind of as quick as we can. Hopefully that will be about a 30-minute process. Legal shooting time is 6.43. So that, hopefully if we're done by 6.30, that will give us a few minutes to settle down in the blind. If you guys have seen the blind down there or not, I'll get you through that tomorrow. But... Uh, they're facing up and down the driveway. So, Greg, you'll be on the, the first guy through the Nobody door here. Right. Capo is going to be on the end. Dane, you'll be with Capo, mm -hmm. uh, and you're going to be uh, down there or, or with us. And then it's me and Terry in the middle and Warrior right between us. They're going to be in there at least 15 minutes before shooting time. They're just going to be dumping in the decoys. It's going to be extraordinarily frustrating going, shoot, 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 get out. But I usually try to shoot, uh, depending on it, a couple of minutes after legal shooting time. We're going to pick our shots uh, cleanly. I did a really good job at the Grand National of taking just the best shots that are coming in because I had a goose hunt the next morning and I had to deliver, and I did. But if we just pound away, six guns, Three shells, what's that, 18? I only got a GED. That's a lot of shit going off. And these birds are going to sleep on the river tonight. They're not going out. They're, they're rafted there. So I want to get a lot of ducks. I want to get a lot of geese. So we will figure it out of who's taking, but we want the perfect best shots. What's the limit per, per person? Now you're allowed five ducks, and you're allowed two geese. A day? Yep. So four of these are going to be mallards. That's the bulk of what you're shooting. Only one of them can be a hen. Avoid shooting the hens, but it's really hard during yeah. sunrise when that shit comes up to tell that okay, what they are. Wow. We'll not worry about that. So what we did during the, the Grand National was just take the best shots, and I called them as to where these birds just weren't winging past us at Mach 3 and that we were shooting them to where we could drop them because Warrior's a good retriever, but he ain't that advanced yet. And it's, it's, it's just like throwing a football. I mean, you can picture that duck and shooting it where it's going to go. And if it's coming over the top, you have Mach 3 and you're trying, to, he's going to dump somewhere. And then that just restricts me because now i got to get out and go try to find that duck. And we take them right in front of us, just good, clean shots, and I think we're going to be just fine. You'll figure it out. But the shooting has to be where those birds can fall for a warrior. He can get out there and get them and get back in the blind. Yeah. And that's not hard to do. It's called the uh, one shot yes, two shots maybe, three shots no. Those birds, when you shoot and miss at them, they will work that wind and just lift up into altitude and let it push them back. We've got a really nice wind tomorrow. But when you bow, bow, I mean, you're never going to get it on that third shot. So just let it go. Try a shot. We'll all laugh at you when you miss. And, uh, we'll Dude, I shot every freaking dog over there. What are you talking about, man? So when the ducks come in tomorrow, if there's a good flight of them, you know, four, five, six ducks, we'll all shoot. If there's just a pair or a single coming in, we'll say left, right, whatever. I mean, we'll figure it out. But the geese, 
are really coming in we'll back you up now. very early. Okay. And sure about eight o'clock, nine o'clock, it's kind of slowing down. Warrior hasn't hunted in a couple of weeks. He's only a year and a half old, as big as that dog is. Uh, and he's not really into these things. He likes live birds. So I don't overdo this. I've trained him up since he was a very small puppy at eight weeks old. So uh, we'll just refresh him up for tomorrow's hunt. So uh, you stay, you stay, watch, watch, watch. Watch. Watch that. Watch. Now he does this stay. He does this the whistle command, so I want him to over that one. Warrior. Watch. Come good boy. Come good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So there's different whistles, and he should deliver it right to my hand. There's different whistle signals for what I want him to do. But he has to trust me because he can't see every bird that goes down. He has to trust me when I tell him and give him hand signals that there's a bird there. So sit, stay, watch. Come, good boy. Come, 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 good boy. Come, good boy. Come, good boy. Yeah, you put it right there, buddy. You give, good boy. Back. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. So I can guide him to what bird I want him to. It's gonna take a lot more work than that, but if there's a crippled bird and he's going for one that's dead that he saw fall, I'm gonna want him to get that crippled bird first, so he's gotta pay attention. I use the whistle a lot to get it over the wind, but he's trained on whistle, he's trained on command. This is his second hunting season last year just toward the end of it he was big enough to start going out and retrieving birds so this is just uh, still a big wake up to him now depending on how far away that bird hopefully we're going to get some nice good retrieves tomorrow at his level but the power of my voice is basically telling him how far away that bird is so if i really lay you know back he'll know it's further out there if I do it in close, he knows it's not that far. We got one more thing for him, and he loves this one. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Let's go get the dummy launcher and fire a few of these. In there. Sometimes the sound of a gun, he just knows something has fallen out there, so he wants to charge out there, and he can't do it until I release it. I'm not too strict about it, but I'm getting more and more as he knows. I don't want him going out there after a bird, when more birds are coming in, he's got to stay steady and shot. Oh, does it shoot those things? Shoots a 22 blank cartridge. This should go out there quite a ways. And what I want him to do is wait until I tell him to go. So we'll take a couple of uh, runs at where it comes. Sit. You stay. You stay. Stay, 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 stay. You see a lot of retrievers that just fly out. They're so excited. He conserves energy. Good boy, good boy, good boy, buddy. Good boy, good boy. So that was just an excellent job. That's how intelligent he is. 
with the training he's gotten, that I mean, he can do that. So uh, tomorrow's a big test for him. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Come, good boy, come, good boy. Right here, right here now. Right here, that's a good fetch. That's a good fetch. That's a good fetch. Good boy. And right to my hand. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> We're going to get some birds tomorrow. Nice guys, good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Boy, come good boy. Oh, did that good boy. Good boy, warrior. Are they waiting for it? <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> Maybe they drank too much. Who last shot night? that? <laughs> As soon as I stood up, I've mm had -hmm. fuckers. It was a great day. I was expecting more geese, but it was just total fog this morning. Total fog and not a wisp of wind. And the geese were using the river as a navigation thing. They weren't coming over the field. So you have them all in there one day, the next day, nothing. We killed uh, two geese. We got two geese to come in. And uh, I asked the guys to hold off on the ducks. We were absolutely covered up in ducks this morning at legal shooting time. But I could hear the geese out here, and I thought, you know, let's let's wait for the geese. Well, the geese really didn't appear too much, so uh, we started cutting loose on ducks. And everybody got a bird, everybody got birds. Some guys were really, really shooting good. It takes guys a little bit to figure out how fast they could, they could tell what me and Dennis were doing, because when I'd say take them, they were just moving slow like this is no big deal me and Dennis were out of those chairs in a heartbeat with that gun up and they finally figured that out oh shit when he says that we got to move our ass you got to get straight up and take those shots and then it all started to come together some fantastic shooting that went on everybody did really well uh, the true hero of today was a warrior 
warrior was flawless in his retrieves. Now he's only a year and a half old. This is only his second season, and uh, he got uh, he got every bird one way or another. And there were some easy retrieves, and then there were some more advanced retrieves. I tell you what, warrior is warrior right now at a year and a half old of my training him is where most retrievers will never get past that point. They'll make a good retriever, but they will never get more advanced than where he is now. And he, he, this is just the beginning for him. He is going to turn into an absolutely phenomenal retriever. Uh, he paces himself, though. He moves like an old dog. He's just business. And he had a, a number of retrieves today on cripples and that he went out and fucking tackled in the water and just uh, did really good all the way around. The hand signals we were throwing out, the whistle signals, and here he'd come lumping back and the duck or goose in his mouth. So uh, Dennis was a big help to me today. These other guys uh, had not done this before, and we had to put out a lot of decoys. I was on a real strict timeline, and thankfully Dennis was there. Tomorrow it'll go twice as fast, but we were in the blind ready to go at legal shooting time. Uh, uh, so Dennis was a big help. All the guys did really good, and Terry, you just don't uh, even know the guy's there. He's just happy to be here. He's very entertaining, but that's the problem I've had with a lot of camera guys, production crews with extreme SEAL experience, is dragging their ass, getting in the way, complaining. They're not ready. Their batteries aren't charged. There's all just one thing, but. It was just, you, you didn't even know that Terry was there filming all this stuff, and he just cared about the camera, so we're expecting fantastic footage. Uh, tomorrow, though, hopefully Isaac, our uh, Marine, wounded Marine, is going to come in tonight. Uh, we're expecting rain tomorrow. Uh, I don't think it's going to stop us, but we're sticking to the same plan. We're going to hunt the same spot with the same setup, and... If it flies, it dies tomorrow. We're going to stay in there and we're going to start shooting ducks early when they come in. I'm not going to wait on the geese, but I think we'll get some geese in there as well. So, fantastic hunt. We did good. An epic hunt in the stagnant mud puddle. Definitely. Um, I'd say before we even shot, we saw at least 50, maybe 60 ducks. Um, could hear geese all over the place. Uh, then I'd say as soon as the action started, it was good and hot, and um, we knocked a lot of birds down, and everybody had a good time. Some people had a little bit of too good a time last night, but that's you know known to happen. So it's uh, all good, and looking forward to a real good hunt again tomorrow. Quite a morning, quite an evening actually. Uh, I haven't even hit the rack yet. I've been up, I would say, 24 hours minimum. I mean, I've been up the entire time, uh, but I was just too excited, you know. Um, it was fantastic, you know. You get here, you're excited. I mean, you look around you here. I mean, what's not to love? And so, of course, we're all getting together, hanging out, having a great time. Next thing you know, it's morning. You know, we have to get up at zero dark thirty. So, what do you do? You just don't go to sleep. You know, get up. Grab your coffee, head to the blind there, and we had a wonderful, wonderful morning. You know, I think right now everybody is just kind of winding down for a bit, you know, and then we'll have a fantastic meal that Diane is working on. We're having a great time having Greg down here, good old Suazo, Capo, uh, Isaac should be coming in later on this evening. Terry, it's been amazing meeting you. Dean as well. I mean, Dean is. He, he's fantastic. He's great, wonderful conversations, you know, and he brings the entire farm here as well. Today, fantastic morning. Uh, we got up, got, a, got the decoys out. Beautiful. It was a little foggy. It took us a while to be able to even see any of the ducks or geese coming in. Uh, the only two geese that we saw today, we got them. Nice. Warrior went and picked them up. It was fantastic oh, watching that. And then we got, what, six or seven more uh, ducks uh, during throughout the day. It was a fantastic job. Uh, couldn't have had a better time.
work. <laughs> and I guess he went running in people's rooms and jumping on the goddamn beds at four o'clock this morning. Woohoo! <laughs> Isaac's showing up. We did really well today. We're supposed to get an inch and a half of fucking rain. There's no sitting in those blinds. You guys ain't gonna like it for fucking five minutes. I have covered blinds. I've got a couple down there. I don't think we'll do very good. This is where we need to be. I got two covered blinds up here. Uh, as Greg said, and uh, as we were talking about today, those geese just don't like flying in this shit. The ducks will. The geese, they just ride that shit out. In the end, I had to have to transfer all those goose decoys in the morning to that boat. Me and Dennis go up here and lay out all those goose decoys so all of us can hunt in these two blinds. We would put duck decoys out over here because there'll be some duck shooting going on out of this blind tomorrow. And the goose decoys up there would be under semi-cover. The wind is supposed to really be stiff tomorrow. It's a great wind for that blind right there. The bottom line of what I'm getting at is I'd like to put Isaac on some birds tomorrow. Yep. But I don't know if you guys are more interested in sitting here and out of the rain and drinking bloody fucking marys. Yeah, that sounds good too. Could be pretty snotty. <laughs> Could be ugly. That it's wind out of the east is going to be perfect you know, for capo out there couple of us out there, you can get Warrior in that blind and uh, three guys, but you can't do much more than that. And I don't think it's going to be worth a shit to go to all that trouble to try to get those damn geese in there, because they just don't, they just don't do much of that shit. It's supposed to be really raining and heavy tomorrow. The tides will be perfect for us. We just throw a bunch of duck decoys out there, these guys shoot some birds. Guys can rotate in if you guys had enough of a hunt today. Sounds good to me. I'm good. The plan. I'm good to sit back. But Isaac gonna get out there, right? I mean, like I yeah, said, that, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. If we would have shot this morning, yeah. I think yeah. even if we just sit here, you can set a group up, probably get a good shoot. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Let the other group shoot. Mm -hmm. If you really want to, see how it is, because it could be super snotty in the morning too.
Well, this morning, uh, decoy drifted across the cove before daybreak. The anchor wasn't deep enough. Luckily, it floated straight across, and we watched it the whole time. Don dropped me off to go get the, um, the cripple. Warrior got right on the trail, followed the scent through the reeds. I couldn't see where he was going. Came around and I found a pile of feathers to where something had gotten that duck recently. Well, I um, came in late on a Friday night, so I um, had to work, so I wasn't able to attend uh, Friday hunts, uh, which I heard wasn't too exciting, but um, at the same time, uh, we had a really good time this morning and afternoon, so we got about uh, four ducks, so that's a good good start. Had a wet season this year, so uh, all the food and the ducks weren't uh, as populous as you know, in past hunts, so uh, this is my second year coming out here. It's always a great time with the Shipleys. Great uh, family, um, and uh, I love what they're doing to help some of the veterans coming out here just get away from life in general, and uh, you know, help them out with the hunting and uh, any other issues they may have, so it's, uh, it's really cool. And we had some of the other guys that came out as well, so it's, it's good to see them back again. So I'm looking forward to some good grub. Does it really work? Look, it's my own phone to go in my girl room. Oh. I love it. Give me a word. It's a hunter nutcracker. Oh. 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 That's a, a wound oh, yeah. it's got yeah. antlers. Yeah, it's kind of like rounds of uh, ammunition for the guys and all different shot sizes, ducks, geese, everything. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Like we're getting Dean back down here for a 
dove hunt or a fishing trip or something. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to think what I only shot. I shot less than a box. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job. Yep. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Back to normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great time. Absolutely. I really have enjoyed it. So we'll get back down with the rest of our pork and sort of All right, boys, get out. I love right, you all. I, love you. I had so much fun. Give us hugs. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Be right, careful. Well. Going See you later. Well done. Thank well you. Well done. Thank you. I don't usually trust my blinds to uh, anybody. We were running those two hunts yesterday. Are you a devil dog? Well done. Great to have another Marine down here. He's a dedicated Marine. I'm telling you, if I got banged up like you did, I'd be milking the Marine Corps for every... I'd be fucking... He's a gunny sergeant now, so he just keeps playing by the rules. I am milking it to get back in okay. the... <laughs> 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 Alright, badass. Yep. Drive safe, bro. See ya. I tell you, we're getting too old for this shit. <laughs> it's been a long, fun three days with these guys down here. So nice to have Isaac back. We just love him so much. We love all the guys. It's uh, Once they've been down here this many times, it's just sort of like family coming home. So uh, you don't feel like you have to entertain each other or anything like that. But lots of food and lots and lots of booze. Uh, <laughs> ingested down here uh, last night was just a barrel of fun and I turned my recliner around and I was just eavesdropping on the conversation and at one point I even said I need to go to my girl room the testosterone has taken over <laughs> you worked your ass off we all worked our ass off that's what you do down here and that's why it's a, a labor of love and you you throw everything you have into these hunts and it's like when we ran Extreme Seal Experience, when those guys would all leave on Sunday, we would just collapse, lock the doors, put the blinds down, and, and sleep. And so I'm having a couple of Bloody Marys. We had uh, some great hunting, great guys, very forgiving guys too. The, when you're dealing with uh, the people that we deal with, the donors that are interested in this, and the veterans that come down, it's just a great combination of people and you get along with them all really well they share a lot of interests and that's how we work this and it, it works so great hunt great food you worked your ass off I did but I uh, there's nothing better than than cooking for the boys now you can give them a damn bologna sandwich and it's the best bologna sandwich they ever had so it's a pleasure seeing uh, seeing them eat and being so gracious about it and they're you know, they clean up after themselves you'd never know it by the looks of my kitchen this morning but <laughs> they do clean up after themselves and the big thing down here I, I say it all the time they do come for the hunt and uh, yesterday we had a little bit of bad weather and it didn't even put a damper on anything they're really here for the camaraderie they're here for uh, sharing stories and and just having a, a boys weekend together so you can't go wrong. Yeah, some good hunting, good food, good camaraderie, good boozing, and the cabin, the barn, is the uh, is the really big thing. They're very comfortable down there. They go down there and, and uh, snack and drink and tell stories and lies and laugh, and they're all sleeping together down there and watch TV and just burn that place up. And they come up here for some good hunting, good food. This this whole property works. All of it works. And it's from the behind the scenes things that nobody really thinks of. And having Terry here this time was a... Uh, people work so hard. They support us. They donate down here. And we want to be able to show them what they're supporting. We want to have lots of pictures and lots of footage. and. Everything's sort of fast-paced, and it's almost impossible for Don and I to be able to capture 
on video or anything, especially in those blinds. So having Terry here, uh, we didn't have to be concerned with, oh, we got to get a shot of this and a shot of that because Terry has filmed, God, a million hours of, of footage. It's going to take him months to go through all that stuff. It was nice having Terry here and uh, the boys liked him. And he brought blood pudding for everybody to try. <laughs> And I, I will tell you, I tried it, but you can keep that shit, Terry. <laughs> Once was enough. Thank you all for everything. The support is amazing. We love you all so, so much. And thank you for our Christmas gifts uh, that you've been sending. We appreciate it. But you can keep those habanero cookies. <laughs> Not trying those. We're done. To a That's good a hunt. Bye, guys. Good good thank good you. You know, coming here this weekend, I'm really not happy with anyone here right now. I'm, to, uh, to be totally honest with you, I'm very, very angry at the people here today. Don today, oh my God. I, I, is that guy really a SEAL? Like, you think maybe he's a fake SEAL finding other fake SEALs? I'm not sure. I'm not calling him out or anything. I'm just saying we got to ask, right? Because we all are on the, on the website. We got to ask. We got to see what's going on. And, uh, you know, so I'm not really sure about that. And then the rest of the guys, you know. Like, this isn't really going on the, on the website. I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know much about them, you know? The guy Capo, I'm, I don't know. Then there's Dennis. You know, Dennis, he's okay. He's all right, you know? And then uh, we got Dean. Uh, I'm not sure Dean is legal to be in the country, but, uh, but we'll take him. But, uh, you know, other than that, you know, it's, this is between us, right? This is not, this is not going on the website, right? Because if this shit went on the website, fucking Don would be. You imagine Don? What the fuck? fuck is Swayzo doing now, you know? So I want to make sure that you guys know that this is, you know, this is just between us. You said it's between us. I'm not signing that fucking waiver, okay? <laughs> Let's just keep this right here, you know, just a couple of people, you know, the premier, premier members can see this. And uh, other than that, you know, it's, it's been a good time. It's been a good time. Other than those fucking four things I talked about earlier. So good times. Great place to come. You guys are out there. Make sure you... Uh, Bother the shit out of Donna, Diane, and, uh, and make it down here. Great place.